recently appointed to the Board of Directors for the Bank of Canada. Can you tell me a little bit about that and what led up to that? Uh, well, first of all, I'll tell you I'm really excited. It's just going to be fabulous, I think. So what led up to it? About, um, I guess, eight or ten months ago, our government relations people said that Rona Ambrose's office had asked for my resume. So I gave them my resume, and that was the beginning of the process. And then there were lots of things that had to happen in between that, that and the appointment, like I had to have a... Um, security check and they had to do a background search and various things like that so a long process and they needed a legal opinion because of the Bank of Canada Act finally in uh, what was it I guess just October late October early November it went through cabinet and passed okay and what do you think you'll be able to bring to the Bank of Canada that is also a good question um, what they said was that I had a combination of finance, understanding of finance, but also the human resource side. I noted as well they have a pension committee and I've got a lot of experience in pension. So I would say it's those three big bundles of information. But generally that ties in with what I've done for most of my career, work in administration, doing finance or doing human resources. Um, what will your responsibilities be as a board member? Uh, it's not as broad as one might think for a usual board because you don't really get into things like monetary or banking policy. But what you do do is advise them on the structural issues of a bank, so of the bank, uh, so how they manage their people, how they manage their resources. And um, you're one of uh, only two, I think, females on the board of directors currently. Um, does the unbalanced gender ratio concern you at all? No. <laughs> I'm sure you want me to elaborate on that. Um, I've been fortunate in the sense that I think I'm either right on or one step behind a lot of women who have, have blazed the path to have more women in various places. So I was the first um, female uh, chief economist for the province of Ontario, first female vice president of finance and admin for, the, for York University, and I think, although I didn't ask, probably the first female here as a vice president. But really, the people that I've worked with have generally been really open to females. It's not like they seem to diminish your opinion because you're a female. So I don't think it's going to make any difference. I think it's the same as if the board were 50-50. But there's a lot of work done on how females do influence boards. And apparently, if there are three or more, it kind of changes the decision-making. So maybe there has to be one more, and we start to change the decision-making process. Okay. But um, I'm a pretty strong-willed one. <laughs> <laughs> um, how has your work here at the U of A prepared you for this appointment? All of the things that I have to deal with here, I think I'll have to deal with there. But also, it, it's really useful to have come from a major research university because I think you get a, lip, a look at things that are different than you would at a different kind of institution. So really, what we've got here with all the professors is like a hundred and, no, sorry, a thousand eight hundred or a thousand nine hundred little experiments going on with various topics. So working here, I got to see a lot of topic areas they wouldn't otherwise. Also, being in Edmonton, it's, it's just such a generous city with letting you do various things. So I, if I hadn't been at the university, I wouldn't have been on something like the Eco Edmonton Economic uh, EDC Development Corporation. So being on that, I also get to see a lot of different aspects of what can happen into a city. So I think both of those things will help. And what kind of impact do you think you've had here at the U of A? Well, first of all, I think everything always happens through teams. So I think the team that's the executive team, which would be all the vice presidents and the president, has had a tremendous impact and started with when I came, it was Rod Fraser. And that was the end of indisputably recognized as a top research university. So I think that, that, that we were all able to keep working on that. And then with Indira's Dare to Discover and Four Cornerstones, we've all made a difference in advancing those things. In my side, on my side for finance and admin, I've been able to hire a really fabulous team of people, like really great. And they've done things and we've done things together that have made a difference in the university. So every time I talk about administration, it's balanced because it's for some people it's not a blessing, 
but things like a, a risk management area, first ever in Alberta and maybe close to the first in Canada, really good person who heads it up and we've been able to look at things like emergency planning and emergency management in more detail than we would have before. So you have to drill down into all the programs to see where it's made a difference. But I think we have better administration than we had. Um, we have certainly less trouble with the Auditor General than we had when I arrived. We've got more things that are IT um, enabled, which is very helpful. So I think in all of those areas, not just me, but the team that I work with both above and below have made a difference. Um, and what would you say has been the most difficult part of your job here? I'm not really going to answer that <laughs> question. <laughs> oh, oh, actually, I hadn't thought of that. Um, well, um, there's just, there are so many things that have to still be done. And so, like, I've, I, I have a list of about 10 files, and I'm thinking, I, I go through each one of these with people in my office every week and say, where are we on this? So I could choose any one of those at this point. But, um, uh, but they're all going well for now. I guess it's the magnitude of things that have to be done. There's just a lot of things. The other thing is, I would truly like to be able to say, yes, you can do that, yes, you can do that, but the nature of my job is I keep having to say, no, you can't. We don't have enough money, it's against the collective agreement, it's against policy, it doesn't uh, obey a regulation, all of that kind of stuff. So not having the freedom to do whatever you want, whenever you want. And now, it's going to be balancing all the time pressures. Um, but what are you most excited about, about um, this new opportunity with the Bank of Canada? Meeting really interesting people. So when I, I talked to the lead director of the bank and he said, oh, you'll be working with really smart people. And I thought, guess what? I work with really smart people now. Um, but so a different group of smart people. It'll be great. And maybe some of them will be older than me for a change. <laughs> Um, are there any uh, fears or worries that you have about starting a position like this? Sure. I'm afraid I'm going to look like a fool. <laughs> I'm really smart people. What if I don't look like I... What if I can't contribute? I mean, I really... I don't know about making a difference because I have to see how the bank board operates. But if I can't contribute anything, I think that that would be really sad. Also, I, you've seen the composition of the board. It's generally representative across Canada. I really want to make sure that they understand what it's like in Alberta because I think we're different and pretty special here. So those two things, got to contribute, got to bring Alberta's viewpoint, got to bring the U of A's viewpoint and Edmonton's viewpoint. So yeah, and of course, I'm filled with trepidation. What if I bomb out? What if I get a D on my first assignment? <laughs> oh. um, and where do you see uh, your career taking you from here? Um, well, I'm truly at an age and stage where I want to do a really good job here. And then I got to think about retirement. So um, I, I would like, what I want about retirement is to make sure I stay intellectually stimulated and active. So I've got to start thinking in an organized way about exactly what that means. Yes, exactly what that means. Okay, well that's all my questions. Okay. Uh, is there anything that you want to add? No, except I was really pleased and I mean really chuffed that you asked me to uh, do an interview, I've got to say. So I'm very excited about all of this. And if anything exciting happens as two young women rising in the world, I'll let you know. <laughs>